Today we are going to do, hi, so before, before we jump into today's video, I am Dr. Shireen Idris, a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Uh, this is a brief introduction that I am videotaping after I have filled my morning routine because I am already here, but and I forgot to introduce myself when I woke up, but today you guys are going to see my morning routine from wake up. Um, I had to cut out some very loud parts with the kids because that's just not entertaining for anybody and I try to keep them to a minimum on this channel. Um, then basically focusing on my skincare routine before I go out the door on a weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and paper? I will catch you, you guys paper? later. Can you have paper? Can you have paper? Of course you can have paper. Have a post-it. Okay. All right. That's all the paper. So I had a couple of nightmares last night where I was being chased down this like valley with all these people with bows and arrows, but I was in a car. So I was like, I have an advantage, but they kept finding me in my car. I do not know. I do not know. If you guys interpret dreams, let me know what that means. But the reason I'm popping on here is because that story was a continuation of my nightmare because you don't need... 10% niacinamide. And I've spoken about this at length. Um, and this is why I have issues with percentages of ingredients on bottles. Because people are misled to think that the higher the concentration, the better. But niacinamide can actually be inflammatory and irritating at higher than like 5%. So the sweet spot is 3 to 5%. Higher percentages are not better. And on that note, I'm going to go work out. But that was your morning tip. My daughter made that. Alright. Contacts are in. I am going to now get dressed and go work out. So I often get asked, do you do your whole morning skincare routine before a workout? The answer is no, especially because I just get out of bed and go to my Peloton which is not by a window with direct sunlight. So I don't even use sunscreen when I work out at 8 a.m. However, if I were working out in midday when the sun is hitting my face on the Peloton, I probably would already have had the sunscreen on. Or if you're working out and running outside in the morning, then definitely use the sunscreen. But my workout is like 20 minutes. <laughs> so there's really no point in having to be so paranoid about using the sunscreen. And there's really no direct light from the window at this hour in front of my Peloton. So let's go. So this is what I mean. We're totally in the shade. There's no direct sunlight. 20 minutes, I'm done. So there's no point in going crazy. But the skincare before and the sunscreen and everything. I just did this on top of the shower. All right, so the workout is done. I'm not a super sweaty person. I mean, my workout's like 20 minutes. But I, that's besides the point. So I'm gonna get undressed, which I will not be sharing with you. And I'm gonna jump in the shower and then do my morning skincare routine with you all. Normally, I work out like two, three times a week and usually it's on the weekends. During the week, those are the kids, I do not have time to work out before I go to work because I don't wake up early enough. However, this I'm, I'm getting to a point. Um, I normally wake up and just wash my face with water, but every once in a while in the morning, I will use a benzoyl peroxide cleanser because during the week I'm wearing my mask for like, 10 hours a day and this area can become very congested and acne prone so once a week or so after i have a lisp once a week or so after i work out i'll use a benzoyl peroxide cleanser such as this one by Penoxil, and i wanted to show you guys i'll put it on my face before i jump in the shower why because I need the active to sit on my skin for just a couple of minutes. If I just use this directly in the shower, it's pretty much not doing anything. So I'll let it sit for like just a few minutes um, by the time I take my clothes off, jump in the shower and then wash it off. Now, if you're super acne prone, I even do this to the chest area and even on the back. However, I don't have anything on my chest or back. So with that being said, I'm gonna get undressed, jump in and then 
<clears throat> all right fully showered and dressed and ready to do my skincare routine with all of you so but vessel peroxide can be extremely extremely drying and as i mentioned um, I don't usually use any cleanser in the morning except once or twice a week after I work out in the morning just to make sure that I can kill any of the bacteria on the surface of my skin. It is winter and it is a weekend day. So during the weekend when I'm not wearing a mask for more than an hour a day because I don't really go out that much, I will baste my face. What does that mean? I will show you guys. So before we get fully to it, it starts with lip basting. And I use Walita's Skin Food because I found that their texture is the best one that goes from a creamy balm to a nice hydrating, uh, oily effect without being an oil. Because it actually does hydrate your lips. And I put a thick layer, this is literally all I use. So one Walita lasts me like a long time. Um, but I will baste my lips and allow this to sink in. While that is happening, the first thing I do in the morning before I do anything else is an eye cream. And I've been using Isden's Kaox Eye Cream. Now, I get nothing from this discount code that I'm going to tell you guys. They're not giving me an extra commission from this. Um, Isden is not. But I think there is, they sent me an email, like a Pillow Talk Durham discount code for all of you guys, where you guys get an additional, I think, 10, 15% off. Don't quote me, I'll write it below because they were appreciative of my support. And so they have a few products that I absolutely love. This is one of them. And I like them, and I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, because I like the vitamin K and it helps with some of the redness, especially underneath my eyes. And I do this as my first step um, in the morning, especially now in the winter. And when there are allergies, there's like, I don't know, the dust from my office, from the construction has not been easy on my eyes. My eyes get very itchy and red. I do take an antihistamine every day, but I use this as well to help to minimize the appearance of redness. And side note, I also use it around my nose because I get very red over here. I've done a series of laser treatments that need to be um, kept up with, but I just have not had time at all to do a treatment this year. I do it like once every year and a half or so, a couple of treatments. So this is what I do while I wanna get some of the redness to calm down. And it's just a nice primer for underneath the eyes. Once I've done that, then I do my serum. And the most important serum to use in a morning routine is an antioxidant serum. I personally use vitamin C. Why? Because it helps to make your sunscreen work better for you. I recently interviewed on One Night Stand um, Ron Robinson, who is a chemist, and he has a brand called Beauty Stat, and he has a 20% vitamin C serum, which is um, pure vitamin C ascorbic acid, which is this guy. 20% is the highest end of the spectrum that you want to go for an active vitamin C. Um, so this is it. The beauty of this one is that apparently he has patented it so that it doesn't get oxidized with the air, the oxygen, the light, etc. Um, so I'm gonna try it out. I've been using it for the past like two weeks or so, three weeks. I will say that I really do like the effect it has when it goes on the skin and it acts like a primer before you apply your makeup. Um, it is very strong, so if you have sensitive skin, beware. Um, I also like that it came in a pump. So two little pumps of this guy and I use it all over my face. It's very lightweight, you know, and it does have a little bit of a slip to it, a silicone slip, which makes it nice for a primer. Okay, so once I've used this, now we're gonna go into the face basting. During the week, I do not do this step because I just literally do the vitamin C, then a sunscreen and I'm out the door. The reason I don't face baste during the week is again, I'm in a mask for 10 hours a day. I've created a very humid environment for my nose, mouth, cheek area. And so I don't need to moisturize. However, on the weekend, plus the addition of the benzoyl peroxide, which I put on my face for five minutes before I washed it off, can be extremely 
um, harsh, especially that it's winter and it's, it's freezing outside. The dry air can be extremely harsh on your skin. So I want to make sure that I'm giving my skin a chance to repair itself. And this is when I face based in addition to lip basting. And I've been using the La Roche-Posay, the Cicaplast, the Bone B5, which has Panthenol, which you little nerds now know about. <laughs> so I look like a cupcake when I do this. Okay. I put a thick layer on my face. And I do not care if it looks super, super white because it will melt in. And I've tried this on darker skin tones. Um, I usually reserve this for the nighttime. So I say I don't care because it's nighttime, you're going to go to sleep. But I have tried this on darker skin tones and it has melted in. It might leave a very light white cast. Um, so maybe just reserve this for the nighttime routine. But don't be afraid to test it out to see how it does on your skin. Um, and I even go down on my neck because the neck always needs extra love and everybody seems to forget the neck okay so i let that sit and i will be back all right so it is now 8 30 and as you can see it pretty much melted in so that is face basting for you guys 101 I do not usually do this on the weekdays. Yeah, it is way fries. too hydrating to do. Yeah, some fries. Some fries. Lily, this is all skincare. I usually reserve this for the evening. As you can see, it just hugs your face before you go to sleep. And I do it on the weekends when I keep my makeup, honestly, to a real minimum. Um, just to give your skin a chance to heal and to kind of repair itself and to stay hydrated uh, from the damage of the week. But that step is usually reserved for nighttime. However, I worked out this morning. I did use the benzoyl peroxide wash and I wanted to make sure that I keep my skin nice and cushioned and protected to start the day. And as you guys can now see, it definitely has melted into your face. There's a little bit of a white streak. You can just, just basically feather it off. Why does it have a white streak? It has zinc in it. Zinc is an anti-inflammatory. It calms things down, which helps to further protect a broken skin barrier. Once that is done, I use a sunscreen. And because I put so much on my face, I will go ahead and use this one by SkinCeuticals. It is their Physical Fusion UV Defense, which is a tinted one. This is their SPF 50. Um, I think that this one actually is extremely lightweight, and that is why I like it. Um, because I just basted my face and this goes on very, very easily. It does melt in, in darker skin tones. It is a physical one. Physical ones are just going to have a cast until we figure out how to make them even more so better without the cast. So I went ahead and put some more. It's a slightly grainy sunscreen, but it eventually meshes in and you don't really feel it. There's hardly any set to it. And it's light, it's so light. So that is my morning skincare routine after I work out on a weekend when I have more time. Normally I'll skip the face basting, go straight from the vitamin C to the sunscreen, then my mask and out the door. But that is it for you all today. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, and I hope you enjoyed this morning skincare routine from wake up to work out to shower to here. So I will catch you guys later.